Stu here with Ooh La La Idle Adventure. We are back at it. We are on the pacemaker. We are trying to catch up. We have Tectone with us. We have Kenji. We have Vulcan Games. We are trying to catch up to the first player here, this team. We are at 99.96 percentile. Now, we have 15 days, of course, to do this, to, to try to get the dragon winnings or whatever. Just have fun together. But what we're going to talk about today is how to get past bosses, how to group up with teams, how to interact with those teams, how to change their skills, their pets, things you might not know about in the game to get past waves, the boss waves here, which you see whenever you hit challenge, you go to your next boss wave. So if I hit challenge right now, it's going to take us to this next node where the boss is. Now, if we beat that boss, it's going to take us here in the middle and we're going to, we can hit challenge again and go to the next boss node. So in the beginning, it's very good to click challenge as much as possible until you get to a stopping point. Now at those stopping points, you're going to see that people are beating bosses and you're wondering how do they beat those bosses? How are they getting further than we are? Even though we are the same level, we might have the same gear, things like that. So there is, there is a big cooperative play in the game and it's, there's two ways to do it. You can do it when they're offline, where you go in there and you change their their skills, you change their pets out, or you can do it when they're online. And when they're online, it's a little more difficult. So in that, they need to be able to be accessible, right? You need to be able to say, hey, on Discord, or what's up app, or line app, or something, that I need you to upgrade your skills. I need you to do, you know, maybe they need to upgrade, maybe they need to transcend, maybe they need to do their attributes. Come in here, get that done, and we're facing a boss. Okay, there's different bosses in the game. There's gonna be bosses that you face. Let's see what boss we have actually right here. See how how far we are away from actually beating this boss. There's gonna be bosses you face that do channeling moves. So they'll sit there and dance or whatever, lightning will come down. They're channeling moves, you need to set up interrupts for that. There's going to be bosses that, that attack the back row. You need to make sure that your tank then has taunt abilities up so that he can taunt that, that boss and that he won't keep targeting your back row people and take them out very quickly because your back row people aren't real DPS heavy. It looks like this boss is probably going to do a channel and do lightning all over the place. I'm pretty sure of it. And then there's bosses that do massive, that have you know the enrage feature where we got to do a lot of damage to them quickly toward the end of it. So then you need to bring in all your DPS moves. So there's a, there's different ways to do it, and to do that, you're gonna go into your team, right? If they're online, you're gonna you're gonna have to contact them. Look, look at what it says when they're on online. When they're online, I try to come in here and do right here the magical uh, 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 the magical item for authorizing your teammate to help you deploy skills and whatever deploy. I hit deploy. Okay, he's offline now, huh? Offline, offline, offline. Okay, everybody's offline. My apologies, he was just online. So now that he's offline, when he's online, it'll tell me I cannot do that. I'll hit deploy and it'll say that the person's online. So that means I would then need, we're in a group chat, say, hey, Kenji, can you switch over to a interrupt spell? Can you switch over to whatever else? So that's what you would do. And then I would be in here. And then if you got to do a one man team while everybody else is asleep, that's fine. So we get to this boss, we know we need to do, okay, we're not even close to beating this boss yet. We either need to get stronger Somebody needs to come in here and equip more gear for themselves because I'm as strong as I can get. I can't equip anymore. We need to run more things like we do over here when we go into the Mystical Realm to upgrade our equipment, which Mystical Realm just opened. We'll have to do a video on that and how you do your equipment from there on. So my guy is pretty much up to date. He's at 44K power. If they're all as well up to date, then that means that we need to figure out how to switch our spells around. If we need to interrupt, everybody needs to equip an interrupt. The only person that can't equip an interrupt on our team is our healer. The other two DPS can equip it, and me as a tank warrior, I can equip an interrupt as well. Now, when we equip those interrupts, I'm going to need to come in here and make sure where do I have my interrupt equipped. So I don't have an interrupt up right. I don't have an interrupt up right now. So I'd come in here. I would do this. Interrupt the enemy skill. 100% hit rate. For enemies of 45 or lower, great. Boom, swap it over. Now I need to go into our other guys. What am I doing? I'm going to team. I need to go over here to our other guys and then do the same thing. So I need to go to tech tone. If I need to change his pet, if his pet attribute isn't what we need for the boss we're fighting as well, I can hit change pet. But I'm pretty sure he's only got one pet right now. Right, he's got this legendary pet, so that's it. So there's no pet for me to change. But I can go in here and I can get to his spells and see if he has... Okay, he doesn't have it up. So if I wanted to change out one of these spells, now my interrupt, it was on my, this is another thing, my interrupt was on my what? Skill one, skill two, skill three, skill four, where was it? Where is his interrupt gonna be? So we wanna stagger them out because there's no way in this game to go in there and manually hit a spell to go off. You wanna stagger it out. So I want my interrupt maybe to be one or maybe I want his to be one. So let's go in here and see where, I don't even know his abilities, but this looks like a silence, okay? 
Silence is cool. Let's swap this out. We'll get a silence up. And I don't know if there's another interrupt. If there is, I haven't played a mage, so you get the idea. So you switch in their skills. So he's got a silence on us. On his first thing he's going to do when we face a monster is he's going to silence. So he's up with the silence. So we'll keep with that. Save. Okay. And then we're going to go back to me. I wonder if I can access myself from here. No, that would be really nice if they put a finger for me to even ex access myself here so I wouldn't have to do this. Now I have to go out, do my own. So here now I have mine as the front. So I don't want I don't want my interrupt to go off right away. I want the silence to take effect. And then after the silence, I want my interrupt to go off. So we're going to swap that to be on the second one that goes off after mine. Now the way that those go off, or if you look here when we're in battle, you'll see that they're, when we're in battle, you'll see that there's a little meter underneath our health bar. And as you auto attack, it goes up. Look at the warrior there. You see it going up on the warrior? Mine. And it just went up and then we can do a, a special move. Now there is no way, like I said, to see if you click the, the minutes in the minutes over here where you get some shells and experience, you can see a battle log. You can see kind of like a skill. It will tell you at the seconds that these skills are going off, which is kind of helpful, but it's going to take a lot of time to, to really work out what's going on and how to stagger them out. So the best thing I think to do is make one, you know, we're going to have a silence on skill one. We're going to have my interrupt on my skill too. And then the next person that we have coming up, we're going to go over here to team. Kenji would be the next one. I don't know why I'm clicking there. And we would put, we would deploy a skill that's going to do an interrupt or a silence as well on skill three right here. Now, if we wanted to, if we didn't need to worry about interrupt and we need to go pure DPS, then we're going to have to switch it out to their all DPS. Again, if we're finding something that it's targeting the back row and myself as a tank, I need to make sure that I'm, I have my taunting abilities up. I'm going to have to go in and switch out my taunting abilities for a tank. Of course, I could always have a taunting ability up. I could always have a, you know, interrupt ability up. And then I could have two other abilities that are kind of defensive to give me shields to keep me alive. But if we're at one that's like a DPS race and I need to little, do a little bit more DPS, there are a few things I can switch in to do a little bit more damage. And of course, pets play a big part in all this. And I just got the ability to unlock my pet skill tree and do things with my pets. Again, we'll have to worry about that in another video. So here's the thing. What would you want to do when, when you play the game? What are you going to do? You're going to come over here. You're going to be playing the game. You're going to be in a group. You're going to go to combat. That's this button down here at the bottom. You're going to go to teams, just like I've been doing. Team info, if you're in a team, this will be your team if you're in a team, but you're going to go to, you're going to go to the notice board. You're going to look at idle. These are people who are supposed to be people who are away from their, their game. They're not actually on right online right now. And then, <laughs> if I can talk right. And then there's the adventurous people. The adventurous people are supposed to be people who are online right now. Now, when you're online in a group with these people, if you want to pick this one, that's fine, but you're going to have to talk to them. So you're going to have to go over here to this other chat feature, not the world chat, but this little chat one that we can move around ourselves. Where is it? This chat here, no. Where is our move around chat? Okay, now I've moved it around. Here it is. Here's our move around chat. I moved it to the top. We're going to have to click chat, and then now we can talk to each other. We beat another boss. Boss, okay, right. So then you can do your group chat and try to talk to them if they're not on Discord with you, if they're not online with you, which I think is going to be kind of hard because you're going to have to get people to get in the mood and to get in the mindset of, hey, I get in a group. Now I need to go to my floating chat, hit that, and start talking to everybody. Because that's what you kind of need to do. If you're not going to try to just idle a lot and out level whatever you're fighting to try to just actively beat it, you're going to have to switch your skills around. You really are. You're going to have to pay attention to what you're fighting. Make sure your pets have an advantage to it or at least are equal to it. And th that way we can do more DPS through pets, right? Because if you look at here, if you click the minutes in the shells, you'll see your, your, your battle damage. There's my damage, of course, with Stu. I don't do a lot of initial damage. My pet does a lot of a damage, right? My pet's doing quite a bit. And then we have Tectone and we have Kanji. Kenji, our two DPS, doing a lot of damage themselves along with their pets. And we've got our healer Vulcan not doing much of anything right now, right? He needs to upgrade his champion. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sure he did. We were talking to him earlier. Oh, is he online right now? Okay, good. He's taking a break. He's online upgrading. I told him we need to upgrade his champ. There he goes. Boom, boom, boom. The little hammer's going. So you know he's working on it. Fantastic. We've done our quick battles to get stronger. You do that every day, of course. What was I talking about? So then people are online, they're offline. Where was I? Oh yeah, I was talking about talking to people. So you got to get them in the mindset to do this chat to say, hey, this is the this is the person, this is the monster we're fighting. These are the things we need to do to beat it. We need to we need to taunt. We need to DPS race. We need to we need to interrupt their channels that they're doing for damage. So you'll recognize it and soon see that these bosses will keep kind of rotating in and out and you'll need to make those changes. So when you're in a team like this, 
depending on what you want to do, if you want to talk to people, you can. I kind of find it easier for me if, say, I'm level 18, and I want to jump in this group right here of two 18s, two 18s and a 21. If I want to jump in this group, obviously there's no join or apply right now because I'm already in a group. You would see it right here in this this corner, this blank space. But I would like to jump in a group myself, even though these say online a group that's not online, right? A group that's completely idle so that I can go in there because I know what we're gonna face soon and, and make the changes I need to do it. Now keep in mind though, if you do join a team that is lower than you, you're gonna go back to where they're at. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing. If I'm level 20 or 19 and I join the 16, 16, 15, I go back to where they're at. Usually I'm strong enough to bring them up pretty quick, maybe. But the other thing is too, that when they progress, if they get to 17 or 18 and they're not online, the only thing you can't do is you can't go in there and you can't manually increase their gear and switch switch out their gear, which is a big thing. You need, you need people to be able to get on pretty often if you're trying to progress right away. If you're not, it's no big deal. You know, you check in every eight hours, collect all your stuff, do all these, max them out, do your attributes, do your transcends if you've gone past level 10, 20, etc. Do all that kind of stuff, right? But you can't do that. So you got to make sure they do that. So the best thing to do, I would say in team wise, if it was me, if you can find active people to talk to that are actively always engaged in, in increasing their gear and making sure that they're topped off with doing transcending, doing, doing their gear, switching out their gear and then leveling up their gear, then that's great. Get in a group right like this that's online and go to that chat tab right away and try to communicate with them. That way, hopefully they're going to that chat tab. I, I really wish that instead of this global here, that when you joined a group, it would show group chat here. And then you have the option, of course, to switch back to global if you wanted to, and it goes back to global when you drop out. But I really wish that right away when I join a group, that this whole thing would switch to a group tab and be pretty empty. And then you say, hey, what's up? Hello, how are you guys? How's it going today? You start talking with your group and you start getting in the mindset of getting ready for the next boss, what we need to do to beat that boss. I think that would help the game grow and I think that would make the community better because then people wouldn't have to guess with it. Right away when you join the game, when you come over here, you're like, hey, let me go to the notice board. I join this team. It either says hit apply or join right away. It'll say right here. You join it and then and then immediately the text comes up and you're talking to them. That way you don't have to do this chat and this blocking your whole screen, everything else. And then you can do this if you want to, sure. And you can even jump back to global here if you wanted to. I think that would make, you know, maybe we can talk to the developers. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that that would be a good change that we go to team chat here or at least have an option to go to team chat? And if we have that option, why not make it immediately go to team chat when we group up right away? So those are your options you can do. You can go, you can go to team chat to get past, to, to progress faster, or you can go to idle and try to switch around their gear to progress faster for when you fight these bosses. And that's what it's all about. Fighting these different bosses and for us to to be able to get up here in this pacemaker, of course, we are spending $15 each on our account to, to do the $15, the $5 each for our, for our whatchamacallit, and I got more than, I got more pearls than that, but I haven't used them. I, I'm saving them for maybe like a summon video or something like that, but we did get the season passes, $5 each, no, it's not the, I think it just, the passes, $5 each for each of these. It's showing it in yen because I'm in Japan right now, but it was $5 each when I go on my iPhone. And that's all we've, that's all that they've spent pretty much. And then we've done the quick battles to progress ourselves as, as, as often as we can. Doing two to three to even four quick battles a day is very good for progression. If you're trying to do pacemaker, you kind of have to do that. And you'll, you'll see, you'll, you'll get to the point where you know when to do it. Because when you do quick battle, not only does it give you experience for two hours, it also gives you an attack increase of 10% for five minutes. So say we were close to beating this boss and we knew we could beat it if we had an attack increase of 10%, 10% more damage for everybody. Then we would click this quick battle, we would get that experience, and then we'd beat this boss if we were close to it, but we're not close to it right here. I did switch out some interrupts, so maybe we're getting further down. I don't know, I'm trying to see here. Looks like we might, we might do better, but that's it. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, support the channel. I appreciate it so much. I love doing these videos, but let me know your thoughts. Do you like grouping up? You know, it's a big part of the game. So you kind of have to group up and get in these teams. Now, you know, a little bit, at least about how, whoa, we're going to beat him. We're going to beat him. Hey, hey, yeah, we're progressing. No, 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 no. <laughs>
<laughs> 11,000. Okay, so close. So maybe with the challenge, with the quick battle, we can actually beat this person with a 10% increased damage. Who knows? Sometimes it's RNG, so you got to run that, that monster a few times because sometimes RNG will get you. Even if you set up your silences right and your, and your taunts and your, your interrupts, they're not always going to go off at the exact time that you want them to. You have to play with it some. And then sometimes, it's like I said, it's RNG. You might have to run it a few times to beat it. Okay, Vulcan is praying right now. So we're going to move forward. We're going to get experience. Maybe I'll go to 32 after that. And then we're also going to have the 10% damage. So that's it, guys. Let me know how you're enjoying Ooh La La Idol Adventure. Now you know about grouping up with teams that are active, teams that are idle, how to get into chat, talk to them about it, change it around your skills, and I hope it's helped you out. I will see you all on the next video.